What's up, YouTube? You know, this whole airline TSA debacle, it's got me a bit pissed off. And if you look at it, it's it's really, it's, it's showing you the truth of uh, where we are. And it's, you know, basically like a pulse of the country. And it's, and it's a crappy pulse. You know, it's almost non-existent. We're, we're pretty dead. People are, they're throwing their hands up and they're refusing to go through the scanners and they're refusing to, uh, some of them, a few of them are, they're refusing to get the pat-downs. But, but you know, no one is really interested in, uh, or, or rather, no one is really willing to be so inconvenienced that they might not fly for a couple of days, 48 hours, two days. You empty the airports for 48 hours and the airline companies would have the TSA and the scanners and the pat-downers out on their ass so fast to get people back into the airport, okay? But just people are just unwilling to inconvenience themselves. They're that spoiled that, that they can't take a few days to change their schedule. And quite frankly, I can't see anybody's life that their, their job or whatever couldn't survive a few days of not flying. Even if your job, even if you need to fly. Well, okay, you know what? For a few days, you're, we're gonna have to, to deal with stuff online, email, phone call. I mean, this is uh, the 21st century. And, you know, on this subject, another thing that really pisses me off is when you go to the airport, why isn't there one airline, just one, smaller airline, set kind of to the side of the other airlines? One metal detector, two guards, and a bomb-sniffing dog. No pat-downs, no conversing, no searching other than that, no nothing. You walk through, you get on the plane. The pilots are sealed up in the cabin, impossible to get to, the plane cannot be hijacked. You use smaller planes, they make more frequent runs. You can even give them a course that's safer than let's say the other courses. So if something happens and somebody blows out a window and the plane falls, doesn't land in the middle of Central Park. Is it, is it so out of the spectrum of thought that nobody has been able to do this? To, to do a little airline that is sort of just letting the people choose? Saying, hey, I don't really give a shit about being scanned and being searched and all this crap. Just put me on the plane and I'm going to take my chances. You know? Let let people get on a plane where if they see somebody come in with a trench coat and a and a fedora tilted all the way down and he's got a pointy mustache and he's twirling it and then they say, oh, you know what? Maybe I don't want to get on this flight. But other than that, I'm getting on. It's just there's just no freaking sense anymore. But I guess I guess that's what they want. And everybody just rolls over and takes it. Later, YouTube.